Guys, this is finally here. We now have the official CNU Android V3 update. And trust me, this one is massive. This update didn't come overnight, it dropped after almost 5 long months. And if you remember, I uploaded the V2 update video around 5 months ago as well. That's how you know this isn't some rust patch. But this time, things are completely different. This V3 update is a total game changer. We're talking about brand new optimizations, support for many more devices, and most importantly, a huge number of glitches that are finally fixed, especially on devices that were struggling earlier. Performance feels smoother, stability is way better, and overall gameplay experience has taken a serious jump forward. Just come to this GitHub page and install it from here. After installation, the emulator will ask for a few required files, so make sure you have them ready. Simply follow this setup exactly as shown and you'll be good to go. You need to place this file inside the ENU folder because it's essential for running the game. So make sure you're following this video properly, because if you miss even one step, the game simply won't show up. First, go into general settings and add your Dane directory path. Once this is done, the emulator will correctly scan the folder and your entire game library will appear without any issues. Now guys, if you really want to run this emulator with maximum optimization, this next part is important. You'll need to add a graphics driver. For Snapdragon users, installing the Turnip driver is highly recommended for better performance and stability. But if you're on a MediaTek device, you don't need to worry about drivers at all. Because this emulator is already fully optimized and compatible with MediaTek chips out of the box. After that, go to Input Settings, open Controller 1, and select the Wii U Pro Controller. This step is mandatory, especially if you're using the on-screen control layout, otherwise the controls won't work properly in-game. Now let's quickly talk about optimization tips. The games that are recommended inside the emulator are there for a reason, they run the best. Try to play these titles first because they support in-game customization options like lower resolution, reduced shadows, and low graphics settings. Adjusting these options will help you achieve smoother gameplay and better FPS, even on mid-range devices. So now let's talk about the updates. Compared to the official V2, a lot of games that used to get stuck or freeze have finally been fixed in this version. You'll clearly notice smoother loading, fewer crashes, and much better stability across many titles. On top of that, there have been several behind-the-scenes optimizations. Since this update came after a full five months of development, it feels much more polished and refined. Overall, with these improvements, this emulator has easily become the best Wii U emulator on Android so far, offering the most stable and optimized experience we've seen till now. The emulator now also comes with a multiplayer option, which is a huge addition and makes the overall experience even more complete. Along with that, many important fixes have been done keeping low-end MediaTek devices in mind. Even chipsets like Helio G99 are now properly supported, and several other budget devices are running games surprisingly well. Popular titles like Spider-Man, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild are already optimized so you won't face any major issues while playing them. Performance is stable, gameplay is smooth, and compatibility has clearly improved. And honestly, this update proves one thing, the developers are finally focusing on real-world Android devices, not just high-end phones. Whether you're on a flagship or a budget device, this emulator now delivers a solid Wii U gaming experience, making it more reliable and usable than ever before. So that's it for this update. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more emulator updates, and comment down below if you face any issues. I'll see you in the next one, until then, happy gaming!